Hello, beautiful. What is up? My name is Kari and I'm a face yoga instructor and I am also a PhD candidate in chemical research. And I'm here today to show you how to go through a full face massage in only 10 minutes. So grab your facial oil, let's get started. Starting with a clean face and clean hands, getting some facial oil, really be quite liberal with it, getting it all over the hands, back of the hands. And I like to just pat it on my face and neck very gently. So for this 10 minute tension release massage, we're gonna start with our hands and fists and just firmly press the fists against the tension and the muscles in the chin 10 times. And so now we're going to do a jaw stretch and then do the same kind of motion 10 times going up from the chin all the way to the ear to the jaw area. And this will stimulate collagen, hyaluronic acid, moving to the other side 10 times. So this compresses and shears all of the tissue, stimulating those amazing compounds that give us that youthful glow. So now we're going to take the hands into fists and just run the knuckles back under the chin, from the tip of the chin and back about 20 or so times. Notice any little tensions down there. So now we're going to just do some work right under the lip, taking that finger and just up and down 10 times on the sides. So each time, 10 times, and then now doing circles vigorously on the chin, on each side and at the tip of the chin. And doing those circles in both directions, on both sides. So now taking our thumbs and just pressing against the jawbone, kind of outward. So where I'm pressing in a direction going out. Yeah, there can be a lot of tension there. I'm taking the knuckles again, now putting them on the lower jaw chin area and just doing little circles. So I'm pinning my knuckles and then doing circles, both directions, both sides. Trying to relax as you do it. And now doing side to side movements, pinning the knuckles and then side to side, and relaxing. And taking the knuckles again and now doing the lower cheek area. Lots of tension can happen right here. So pinning those knuckles and then side to side, keeping those knuckles pinned, up and down motions now for 10 times, keeping the knuckles pinned, breathing and relaxing. And some circles now, both directions, pinning the index fingers into the lower cheek, just doing some circles. I'm doing this with my tongue up to the palate to help release tension even more. And now pinning those index fingers into the jaw muscles where we feel tension, tongue to the palate, and now gently stretch open the jaw for about 20 seconds, as big as you can, really breathing into it using your nose breathing. Releasing the fascia and gently closing the mouth again. And now we're going to stretch the side of the jaw and the cheek. And this time we're going to do a fascia release up and down 20 times on that upper cheek down to the mouth area. And switching sides 20 times. It's like we're ironing, sculpting all the way up and all the way down, all the way across. And so now just holding onto the jaw, taking our index finger, hooking it and sort of moving that muscle down can get really tense in there and just shearing it down 10 times each side and now doing that little shearing motion with the little stretch now on the inner cheek upper lip area so i'm just going back and forth 20 times total and switching sides back and forth this is between the lip and the nose on that inner cheek upper lip area all right and so now using the tongue tip of the tongue making little circles as close to the nose as possible ironing out any of that tension in the nasolabial area just doing little tiny circles 
little reverse circles. So now taking those fists again and pinning them under the upper cheek. I'm just doing little fascia releases, up and down motions, side to side motions, keeping those knuckles pinned. And now we're gonna do some nose release. So just going down the nose, flicking it over above the nostrils, letting go of any tension from a bunny smile when we kind of scrunch up our nose when we smile. And now we're doing one at a time, holding down one side, holding down the other side. And then now pushing one side in, holding the other steady and pushing the other side in, holding the other steady. I'm just doing a little release right at the top of the nose, flicking out any of the fascia, ironing out between the nose, on the bridge of the nose, any little tensions there. So now we're going to be moving on to under the eye acupressure. So starting with our first point and holding it for about 10 or so seconds. Just really relaxing into it. Moving to the next point, right next to it in the bottom lid. Holding it down. And now the next point, a little bit further outside. And then right on the outside of the lower lid. Get a lot of tension there from smiling and expressions. So now taking the thumb knuckle and doing that inner eye of the upper lid against that brow bone, against your eye socket, moving over, still on that eye socket, breathing. And now going right in the middle of the upper lid, breathing. Now the outer upper lid corner. And so now we're going to do some crow's feet covering the eye, protecting it, and now doing little ironing motions upwards from the bottom lid all the way to the upper lid 10 times on each side. This is really great for getting rid of those crow's feet wrinkles and tensions. And so I definitely spend a little bit more time on this eye. You might have one eye that has more tension than the other. So feel free to spend a little more time on that one. So now we're going to move to the temples. Temples are really, really important. They can really affect the face. So we're just ironing back and forth, so forwards and back, 20 or so times on one of the temples, using my hand to hold my hairline back. And now going up and down, so same area, but now just more of an up-down motion. My hand is slightly at an angle. And now the other side, so holding my scalp down with the other hand, going forward and back with the knuckles, ironing out the temple tension. And then going up and down, almost from the jaw all the way up to the forehead. 20 times back and forth. So now just pinning in the knuckles of your fists into where the hair is typically and just doing circles, about 20 or so circles, both temples at the same time. <sighs> just relaxing and now doing some eyebrow acupressure, taking the thumb knuckle, doing little circles on the eyebrow 10 times and then reversing those circles 10 times. So we'll do at least three or four points per brow. You can even do up to five or seven points per brow. And sometimes I like to do it a little bit above the brow because for whatever reason, I have more tension there. And yes, I'm holding my forehead and scalp steady so that there's no stretching or dragging of the skin. And I'm really just focusing on the level of the muscle. Extending out into the tail of the brow, almost where it meets the temple. And everyone's tension will be different, so just notice where you feel it the most. And this technique can really help lift the brows. It can improve their shape, it can improve their symmetry, and it feels really good. You hold a lot of tension and emotion and thoughts up there in the brows.
And again, spend more time on the brow that might feel more tension. I've reached into the temple a little bit on this side, probably feeling a bit more tension on that temple. So now just ironing the area where we get those 11 lines in the middle of the forehead, so holding down the top of the forehead and then just rocking the knuckles in an outwards motion, trying to relax and soften those muscles. And now doing some circles with the fist on one side of where the 11s form and then on the other side. So this is right above the brow where we get that little tension bundle. So now going in the center, just taking the finger pad and just going circles side to side and the other side. And now ironing down the forehead at least 10 times. I like to go all the way down to the nose, taking those knuckles down, releasing the muscular tension. I like to extend out into the hairline and the temple as well. Well done, we've done the entire thing now, we're all done. Now all that's left is a lymph drainage. So using finger light pressure with your fingers, going down from the tip of your chin, down the neck, the side of each neck. I like to do at least 10 strokes per side. This gets rid of all of the fluid and the, and the lymph. Everything that we've rustled up from the tension release so things can get trapped in our tense muscles and then when we release that tension it's really important to drain out any of the gunk we have lymph nodes going all the way down the neck sides of the neck as well as in the temples so that lymph system really needs movement and this is a very light touch it's different from the tension release kind of the opposite it's more of a light gentle touch you can also use a brush or a face roller or even a gua sha for this. I like to use my hands, but I do like a roller sometimes. So everyone's got their own preferences. So under the eyes, really important over the nose, between the eyelids, between the eyebrows, really important to get all of that to move, drain it from the brain, drain it from the face from under the eyes and then moving it to the temples and then eventually we're going to be moving it all the way down the face again so over the forehead over to the temples and then moving it down down the neck each side and I'm doing a little neck stretch there just to kind of help elongate and just get all those little bits Amazing. So there you go. All done. Thank you for joining me in this 10 minute short but sweet face massage. How was it for you? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked it, please hit that like button and definitely subscribe if you're interested in more face yoga content. And I would love to make more face yoga content. Let's definitely share this stuff so that more people can learn about how to do it. And if you want to go a little bit deeper and learn more things, please check out my website, faceyogabykari.com. And if you want me to help you check your form and help you design a plan for you, definitely check out my live classes as well as the one-to-ones. And um, yeah, if you want a more of a program style that's either self-paced or you can work with me, definitely check out, I have a new course, Define Jaw and Cheek course and I am launching courses regularly from now on. So definitely share the message far and wide about face yoga and how awesome and, and impactful it can be. And have a beautiful, wonderful rest of your day. Bye.